Hey everybody, thanks for visiting. This is just a quick tutorial, or I hope it's going to be quick for you, um, on my experience with buying the uh, Arduino Nano. Um, I bought these pieces online through eBay. I got them, I got two pieces for five bucks, so total in ten bucks, with, uh, that's including shipping. And I paid a little bit more because I knew that they were going to be shipping from the U.S., and I got them pretty quick. So, but these are actually, I guess, um, knockoffs, like the chip, whatever chip that they put in it is, is a chip from China now. So, if you're like me, I kind of went through some, some dregs in trying to find out how to install the driver because I found out that I thought it was just going to be plug and play. I loaded up the code and it, it didn't work. So, um, as you can tell, um, when I went to the ports, as you can see, there was no port. It just kind of had the standard, like, uh, Bluetooth port. There's no port actually reading it, so this video is um, here in hopes to help you uh, find out uh, what to do like I did. So I hope you enjoy. Basically, I just googled um, CH340G. That's the uh, chip that's on my Arduino Nano. Um, and uh, tried to plug it in and it just wasn't downloading, or it wasn't like... I just wanted to run a quick tester blinky blinky light, LED light, just to test them. I come to find out that you need an actual driver. So this is where to go that I Googled or I, I looked on YouTube and this is where it told me to go. And I just Googled the driver and it took me here. What I found out is uh, you just click on here to go to the most current version, the OEM driver. And then it um, takes me to this, I think it's Chinese website. And it's going to ask, actually ask me to translate, and yes, I want to go to English. And then I, for my driver, I cl just clicked on this download button right here, right at the top, where it has my driver right here. And just download, and it just downloads to my folder here. And here it is right here. I actually downloaded it again. I just wanted to show you guys where I went to go do it. and I need it for Mac. It's an older version, it's Mac OS Sierra version 10, 12, 6. I didn't upgrade to High Sierra because I did before and I just didn't like it. It wasn't working well with my other applications that I wanted, so I reverted back to Sierra. And so now I'm going to attempt to upload the, uh, the USB driver from my Arduino Nano so I can do some programming and do some really cool stuff. When you click on to just decompress the the Mac version of the driver, it gives you a PDF README file and it says to double click the install package, which I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And install according to the installation instructions. I'm going to hit continue. Install. Type in the password. Continue installation. And I'll be back with more progress. So one thing I've noticed when I, you know, it, you're supposed to just kind of restart your computer and it should automatically load. And it did for me. And uh, there was nothing else that I actually had to do. You might have to take some extra steps here to, to make it run. But if you're on a Mac uh, operating system, Sierra, I mean, it, it automatically did it once I, you know, decompress the file, you know, install it and did all that jazz. But anyway, I noticed that it did show up on the port here. Now it's already showed up and it does work here. Um, at first it didn't work. I was getting problems, but the thing that I found out was when I first started up, it was actually set to um, ATmega328P. Well, you actually have to select obviously I don't have the mega or whatever but I had to select the AT mega 168 to actually make it work and if you haven't also selected you have to select the nano which um, it was on the, the uno but obviously click on the nano and it should work here's the code I mean it's just a basic code that I, I just worked out in a different project and I, I wanted to just use this basic code to um, signify that it actually worked, and uh, so I'll, I'll show you what I did.
So I hope you had fun figuring it out like I did, and uh, it was a little bit of a challenge, but it was worth the challenge for me, because now I can go out and make some fun stuff now like I wanted to in the first place. So um, with every little bit of a challenge that you find with new product or new components, it's really worth the effort. So I hope you're like me that just kind of sticks in there and just kind of figures things out, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one, I guess, if I run into any problems. Take care.